Corkswing Cork has been my most requested tutorial and I feel like I'm gonna disappoint you a little bit with this one. I feel like you guys are expecting, I don't know, some kind of cheat codes for this. And that's why this tutorial might be a little bit disappointing, because cork swing through cork is not an easy thing to do. Learning a cork is probably something that most people who start tricking will never learn. Cork swing through cork is very advanced. It's a lot harder than just landing a cork. But if you can land a cork like this, you are ready to start approaching it. When learning a cork, you just need to think about landing it somehow, but when starting to approach the cork swing cork, you need to be able to land it so comfortably that you can start changing your technique a little bit. When you're landing your cork, you need to land it in at least a small eagle position. This means that you are pushing your plant leg, the leg that you took off from, towards the ground just before landing it and then you are gonna try to stay on the leg. Your cork needs to be really good so you can land with your chest high enough. I would highly recommend watching my J-step tutorial so you can actually get the max power for your corks. Check it out, learn to J-step properly, it's very important. Because as your first cork swing cork setup, J-step is probably the best. I'm not gonna say it's the only possible way, but it's probably the best one. At least for me it was so easy compared to other setups in the beginning. You don't need to have a perfect cork to swing it. In the beginning you just need a good enough cork, something you can land on just one leg. Just do the cork and try to stay on one leg and maybe get a baby swing 540 out of it. When you do your cork, you need to lean back enough to flip it hard. Even though maybe you didn't learn cork through flipping, you need to think about the flip because otherwise you will not get any power for your second swing from it. The leaning back and the flip gives the power for the swing. If you have a trampoline, use it for learning the cork swing through. But when you're ready, you just need to send your first cork swing cork. It will probably not be a beautiful one, but it's your first one. As long as you get it done, you can start working on it. As the swing through part gets more comfortable to you, you will start immediately getting more power. Usually we restrict our power if we are afraid. When I do my good cork swings, I use my arm like this. So I kind of lift my right arm and my right leg at the same time. I find this a really good way to do the cork swings. For swing throughs, this kind of single leg deadlifting could help a lot with getting power to your legs. You're not gonna learn cork swing cork with this, but it's gonna make it easier if you have a lot of power in your single leg stance. So maybe try it out, see how it feels. Start with low weights, work your way up to higher weights. To get clean and powerful cork swings takes a long time, but you can do it. If you just put your mind into it, you get in the reps, you train safe, you train smart, you can do it, definitely if you want. This was the cork swing through cork tutorial, I hope you like it and I will see you in the next tutorial.